I don't know, you can make a website about football or glass flowers or clocks or grilled cheese sandwiches. I've Oh, this thing on. <laughs> hey guys, it's Greg and welcome back to another X theme demo. We have another video uploading for you guys and I'm gonna work right now on using this magic from our keyboard, that's CSS, to control the beauty and the style of our website. And I do this as my relatives are pouring in for the holidays, but they don't know I snuck down to the basement to make this tutorial for you guys, and I'm really excited. I am uh, here for you though, and let's make a pass at this CSS that we saw at the end of part three. We wrote this little bit of CSS in part three, and we can start writing in more CSS in between the alligator brackets. So let's put our mouse in between the brackets and give some space. That's standard web designer format. FYI. And now I'm just gonna write and now I'm gonna write some basic CSS commands to control this button because the clear button. Make sure I got it right. Oh, it's just clear button is what's inside uh, this this button right here. So it's gonna work on the button. So maybe we want a different border on this button because when we highlight it with our mouse, it goes to white because the border it's a, is actually white. Maybe we want a border that's one pixel solid and then maybe gray. You can just write in a color like that. That will give us a border, but when we hover, the border goes away. So we also have to write in dot clear dash button, and then that little sign, I forget the name of that, and then hover, alligator, and we'll make that same CSS uh, command for the hover state when you hover over the button. much better. So now the border exists on the clear button and the clear button hover which is this and this. You can change the border width easily using this part of the CSS command and this is also known as shorthand because you're commanding a few different parts of the border, the width, the type of border, and the color with one CSS command and one line of CSS. Alright, pretty cool. Maybe we want to change the color of the text right here. So we can write in color, and then you can write in something like black, and that'll change the color of the text inside the button. Pretty cool. When we hover on the button, it looks like the text gets some sort of text shadow that makes it look 3D, and I don't want that. So we could write text shadow none. And that actually didn't work. So I'm going to grab the generic button code written by X theme. This is the style that's on every button. And it looks kind of crazy, so you just got to remember it or copy paste it in on your own. And now let's write in text shadow none and see if that worked. Beautiful. Now the text without hovering and with hovering in the hover state doesn't have that text shadow, which I think kind of distracts people. There's hundreds of lines of CSS you can write and hundreds of commands. You can find them all on the internet, like through Chrome by Googling something like CSS to make button blank. And uh, you'll find a lot of ideas. Usually if you just use some sort of semantic descriptive words, you'll get the right code and you can just copy paste it in. Of course, it's a little bit of trial and error and it helps to be able to remember some stuff. But I'm here to help too if you have any questions about which CSS you need to change your website or which code in general, just post it in the comments and I'll hunt that down for you, no problem. For now, I'm going to show you one more really useful line of CSS and that makes the background go away. It makes any background transparent. All right, So there are some transparent buttons on the shortcode site uh, which you can copy paste in but sometimes you just want to make a colored button transparent for um, for some reason or another. 
if you copy paste this line of CSS in for background color then that background will go away of course with the background gone it will inherit the background of the section which is white and now we have white on white when we're not hovering so we need to change up that color to something like black we'll hopefully come back to CSS later to change the color and styles of other parts of your site but play around with the buttons let me know any questions and this really is the best way to create individualized buttons to improve the user experience on your site or just to test which sort of buttons convert the best for your goals. Save and publish. Let's refresh our site and our cornerstone page too. Alright, now that we know how to make pretty buttons for more clicks and overall an improved user experience for our customers, I think it's a good idea to place those pretty buttons in a few more places around the site where they'll also get clicked. So in cornerstone, Let's grab the button along with the P style which centers it right in WordPress. WordPress wrote that code. And I'm going to go up and I want to enter our block grid right in section 2 in the meat and potatoes. And we want three block grid items and a button in each one. We also need three columns. Alright, and this is going to direct users to our products. Each one of these buttons is going to say shop this or shop that. So let's just control A, control V in one section and let's change that text up to say shop television because we're a television store. And then we can do the same in the next one but we might as well get that style perfect before we copy it. So let's, um, yeah, that's actually perfect. So let's go to block grid item two, control A, control V, and block grid uh, two needs the text change so we can say shop accessories and number three, control A, control V. We can see how doing work in one part of our site can be sort of uh, expanded to save time in other parts of our site. And in this text section above with our mission statement, I want another space, ampersand, nbsp, semicolon, and save changes. And refresh the site to see what we made. And we have some pretty nice buttons. Very good. You'll notice that the buttons are getting a little bit bigger as we hover over on them. And that's because we have this um, that clear button hover makes the border three pixels and the normal state is two pixels, which is kind of funny. That's a way to get your buttons to move. You just make the hover state a larger pixel, but uh, we don't need that right now. I hope we have time in this part four to go over something more than just buttons. So let's try to add more fun items to the bottom of our home page and uh, as much as we can within 10 minutes. Back to Cornerstone as usual, click the bricks. Let's name section 5 appropriately, which is our counters. New section, Cornerstone. And let's put in a pricing table. This is a pretty ridiculous item, but I know it's used a lot these days, and it's something I might use in the future. But the, the cool thing is just dragging in that pricing table gives you this entire effect, uh, which I always thought bloggers or web designers had to code or create from scratch um, in the past, but it's a lot easier than I thought. You can open up your pricing table, and in each column, there's a pre-made list of content which you can change. You can change the button link down here or the text like buy me and of course you can change all these items and then with CSS if you'd like you can change the borders and the widths of the pricing table. I'm probably not going to use this pricing table in the final version of our website with Xtheme unless I put it deep within the sub pages like on an about page or some kind of page like that but you know it's good to know one more feature I really like in Cornerstone is the feature list and similar to the pricing table this comes very much pre-made for us with icons and text 
All we need to do is open it up and we can easily change what's going on here. Or maybe this displays like a list of tasks that your users have to do or different criteria that your company stands for. Stuff like that. We can change the icons down here and there's a ton of them to choose from. You gotta love how easy the X theme makes it for us to look good. Those icons can be linked and they can have borders. All of this really improves the design of your website. Again, you gotta love it. And I believe if we click out of this and go down, we can choose the graphic size, but more importantly, we can choose their animation, like rubber band, or maybe uh, wobble. Then when you save your site and refresh, and when your users get to that section, those uh, icons will start animating just like we saw right there. It's good to have moving parts and it's good to keep people's eyes uh, entertained as they're on your website because they'll stick around longer. In our next demo, we're going to start tightening up the site with a menu and a footer, which actually aren't too easy at all. So please make sure to stop by and check that out. And I'll see you next time. Oh, hey guys. Hey, Jim. Hey, Nancy. Happy holidays. I'll, I'll be right there.